There was an, a recent article in the Atlantic Monthly, and what it said was that surveys show that people in America have stopped hanging out. <laughs> Not altogether, but if you look at the numbers across all age groups, the numbers are dramatic in terms of how much people are with other people in physical proximity. They're not going to church, they're not going to service clubs, they're not playing softball together, they're not going to the pub, to the local bar together. Um, it's dramatic for younger generations. And people in poverty are most affected by it. I don't want to go too much into all the whys. So here we are. For those of us at Sunrise in the Rimrock Room here, we're hanging out. <laughs> we're hanging out. We're being together physically in physical proximity. And for those who can't be with us physically, we are hanging out at least, we say, in virtual space. And all together, we're experiencing something else, which is spiritual intimacy or spiritual proximity. Right? Spiritually, we're coming together. I think that physical proximity is nice. It can facilitate spiritual proximity. But you can feel very alone in a group of people, no? A sense of aloneness can actually be accentuated in a social situation if there's not a connectedness emotionally and spiritually. So we want to use physical proximity to create something else, a coming together spiritually. The prophet Elijah said to the people, come near unto me. He knew that there was something that needed to happen that couldn't happen without proximity. And he offered himself as a rallying point for that. Come near unto me. We might have goals for what we want in our life personally or what, for what we see as possible for a group of people or for all humankind. One way to describe that goal is oneness, that we all may be one, one people. But the question becomes, how does that happen? How do we arrive in an experience of oneness? It might help to declare it that we are one, but that of itself doesn't necessarily get us there. There is a process that we go through that brings us to an experience of oneness. When we begin to see what's happening in our own heart and see it from a place of non-judgment, but a place of acceptance, the heart can relax, feels good, <laughs> feels good personally, sure. When we stop tormenting ourselves with self-judgment, shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have those memories, shouldn't have those feelings. When we stop doing that and come to a place of acceptance of ourselves, our own emotional state, Shouldn't be feeling that. <laughs> Just let it go. Then the heart can begin to relax and can begin to flow and give something to the mind. Give an energy to the mind. Give information, actually. Reveal something. That doesn't happen outside of the presence of spirit. Then we have an opportunity to have the, the same experience with others. To not only hang out, but find that there's a vital interchange between us to happen. <laughs>